Hey, this is Paulo, and today we're going to do a um, walkthrough video for the uh, freshmen in mass media or people in EST1. Basically, how to do the Lego project. Um, so, today you're going to be building a Lego from scratch using SolidWorks here, and then you're going to um, build some figure with it and then uh, annotate it for um, submission. So first thing you want to do is start a new um, part here. Click new up here. Click part and hit OK. So this is um, SolidWorks. Here you can um, build in 3D, 2D, anything you need. So the, um, the mentality behind SolidWorks is um, start with a 2D sketch and then convert that sketch into uh, a 3D object. So um, Everything you do here will be in, you, you can ignore these two tabs here, just sketch and features are what you'll be using. Um, so sketch what you use first because you, you want to create a 2D object. So you're going to want to, oh, um, another principle idea here is by holding down the middle mouse button, the one between the left and right click, by holding it down you can rotate around, uh, something pretty useful, or you can use um, over here, this button, specific views, like if you want to get straight on, or like a um, exactly isometric. But uh, for all intents and purposes, this is just fine. Um, let's see here, front plane. So um, these are three planes you can work in. It's basically just what orientation you want to start in. So um, <clears throat> for this project, you want to start with the front plane. Oh, excuse me. Um, this here is the origin, little red thing there. Um, this blue square is irrelevant; it's just showing your orientation. Helps you um, perceive it. You always want to start the origin; it just makes things uh, easier in the long run. Um, also, all dimensions for this first Lego will be in the description. Links down below. Um, so here, you want to create a square. Um, doesn't have to be exact; just throw one out there, and then. Um, you can change it later. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, also, mouse wheel, um, general, scroll in, scroll out. Um, works usual. So here we have a tool called Smart Dimension. Um, Smart Dimension basically allows you to change the um, distance of any line or circle or uh, anything really. So basically, to use Smart Dimension, you click on the line that you want to change. Um, this little thing will pop up here showing you what it's currently at and um, right here it's an estimation if you look over here it's um, a lot more accurate but um, so uh, wh when you drag it out here see how it's kinda loose like this just click and it'll allow you to change that value so um, for this Lego you want it to be two inches um, and then do it again here by two inches so now you have your first square um, you check that out, rotate in 3D and then now we want to ch change it to 3D. So here you go to features because you're changing this 2D object to a 3D object. And here's extruded boss space. This basically allows you to create material using your sketch. See, um, this is the preview page. Um, here it shows it in kind of yellowish, showing um, basically what direction it's going to be headed or what it's going to look like, sort of. And here you can edit those exact dimensions to um, exactly how far you want it out to be. In this case, it will be 0.75. Check mark there. And now you have your first um, box. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to create um, the peg parts of the Legos. So you're going to take your circle here. Um, just slap on four circles, somewhat random, as long as they're inside the square, shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then just, just like before, you're going to um, use Smart Dimension, make sure that's checked. Click on the item you want to change, and um, type in the dimension you want it to be. So in this case, it'll be 0.5 diameter. Do that for all the circles first. Um, you can, it's more, for the more drastic ones, you can see the change a bit better. The first one was pretty close. Okay, so now you have your four circles out there. 
now you want to change um, their distance from the edges because you want them to be all neatly organized. So for this, you, um, you, you're going to click on the circle and click on the line that you want to distance it from. Now, the way solid works, works is that you can click on either the center to the edge or you can click on the, um, the edge of the circle so it'll default to diameter, but when you click on the next edge, it'll recognize that you mean the center. So you want to change that dimension to 0.5 from both edges. Oh, excuse me. Uh, from both edges. And see, it'll be exactly 0.5 from this edge and this edge, so it's squared up. So you want to do this again for... Um, all four edges. There you are. Now, if you happen to miss hitting this edge and click out here, you're going to get um, this message. This says uh, make dimension driven. Basically saying, hey, you've already measured this distance. Which one of these do you want to be true? That's driven or driving. So that just means you missed, so just hit X on that and you'll be fine. Um, just try again. Make sure it's highlighted red like this or orange or whatever when you're um, clicking on the line. Make sure it catches. And you'll be fine. Um, if you happen to have put the circle out outside the edge, it might mean might think you mean 0.5 the other direction and it'll put it far out. So um, that's why it's important to make sure the circles are inside the square. So now you're going to go back to features and you're going to um, extrude these four circles out. Um, so this time you want it to be 0.25. Green check mark up there. And now it's starting to actually resemble a Lego. <clears throat> now for the back. Um, for the back you want somewhere for these pegs to go into. So you're going to start by um, drawing a box on the back. Um, like before, don't have to be so exact the first time. And um, for these, the diameter on these is um, 0.5 and they're um, 0.5 the center is 0.5 from this edge so that leaves a 0.25 gap right there. So you want to make these distances here 0.25 So do that all around, and it's important that you don't um, just do two of them and um, and dimension these lines because later you're going to be changing this to a different file, and that'll make sense um, later on in the video. So now that these edges are all 0.25, you need to fill up the edges because, um, as you can see here from the top view. Um, let me change this here. Um, there's only two points of contacts per circle on the current um, uh, setup it is. So like if you cut that hole, there's going to be two points where the circles actually touch. And we want as much stability as possible. So um, when you go to the back, you want to fill the edges. So you sketch fill it. Um, click on the first line and the second line and that little preview um, arc will pop up. So do that for all the edges and then you can change the radius of that fillet to 0.25 the same as the circles. Also what I did right there is I hit enter twice that'll um, complete the operation and then the third time we'll finish um, using that tool. So now um, you can see that instead of just those two points right here, this entire edge is being used to um, um, create stability for those pegs. So now instead of using um, extrude to create material, you want to get rid of it. So you use cut extrude right here, click on that, and um, now in, instead of 0.25, which would be exact for these pegs, um, sometimes there's some tolerance in the machine that's needed because maybe your cut isn't exact and this is um, and because of the di of this part contacting the top, the this distance isn't too irrelevant. So here, 
you want to put it somewhere between 0.25 and 0.3 so I'll put 0.27 here check check and now you can see that it's created the hole for it now um I should have been saving along the way but um it's fast for me so I can just redo it if I screwed up but um you always want to create um, a folder for all your files um, let go um, because um, it's good to be organized and um, you can have a lot more files later on and you don't want to get confused so you can put um, just Lego for now or actually you want to put Lego 2x2 two two, because that's the um, length and width okay so um, now what you're going to do is you're going to um, put your uh, we're going to write your name on this well in this case my name so basically what you're going to do oh, I'm sorry I, I did it without explaining um, discard um, go to sketch hit this little A up here so it means text um, click on the service you want to write on and then type in your name Apollo um, it's sideways like this and um, there is a way to fix that but um, it's not just hitting rotate trust me wouldn't have tried that it does that you see um, so um, there is a way to fix it but um, it does take too much time and it's really not worth taking the time to teach teach you guys how to do it um, if you really want to know just um, contact me or I might make a separate video how to do that but um, for this project we we'll need to how to do it um, talk to Frank he's um, he doesn't care so um, yeah so write your name um, then you want to go to extrude make it pop out uh, I believe it's going to be point one yeah so make it um, point one out have your name on there and then um not entirely sure what he what he wants on the sides but um he wants two of them going out and two of them going in so um whatever he wants to put on the other sides have him put but probably RHS um <clears throat> and then you just um extrude it instead of uh, cut extrude instead of regular extrude I'm not, I'm not going to do the other ones just because I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, you can he'll, he'll tell you. Okay, so now that that's done, save. And then now we're going to um, edit this part because we're going we're gonna to have two Legos. Two different types of Legos. So we're going to hit save as. We're going to change that 2x2 two two to 2x4. Two so we're going to have two separate files now. So if I show you um, in those files, there's now two separate ones. So now we're editing this one. And we're going to change it to two by four. So now that we've created this Lego. Um, we're going to um, change it by going th um, through our original um, operations, and we're going to change them. So this is the first extrude we did. You can see it's highlighting what you did. Um, so what we can go here is we can go to the sketch hit this little icon here that says edit sketch and you can change the dimensions now here everything's grayed out because it's acting as though it was before you did it so just, all you have to do is change one of these to, from 2 to 4 uh, double click on the annotation by the way will allow you to re-edit it and change that now you just hit apply up here and it will extend it now if you did all your um, smart dimensioning right it should look like this if you did something wrong, maybe this will be only over here, or um, circles being word spots, but that's all right. Um, you can either um, go back to the um, cut extrude if you screwed up here, and change that one. And as for the circles, you're gonna have to put new ones in anyway. So for the circles, you go to that extrusion there, go to that sketch, hit edit, and now we're gonna add some more circles. So. Um, pop four more circles on there once again irrelevant or they are start out um, change them all to 0.5 again uh, 
Okay, now um, once again change the distance to the edges. All right, now you want to change the distance between these two circles. So um, if the diameter is 0.5, we want them to be one away from each other. Okay, so now that your circles are back there, all right space, you just hit apply up here and it will remember all your settings and will re that. Save and now you are ready to assemble. Um, so what you do is you want to minimize this. Um, open the other file also. So you have both of them up. Minimize that, they're just down here. And now what you do is that you're going to create an assembly. Basically you're going to build with these Legos. So first thing you do is click new, go to drawing, and um, psh, paper doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna hit drawing. You actually want to, <laughs> you want to go new assembly. There we go. Um, so here you have everything that's open and minimized. You can drop these Legos on here. So uh, I'm gonna start with a two by two, because it's the easiest. Okay. And I'm gonna put another one on there. So um. What you're going to do is that you're going to create a set of rules that will place these blocks. Right now they're just loose. You know, you can move them any well, you can move everything but the one you started with anywhere you want. What we want to do is that we want to constrain it so that they're um, attached. So um, you click mate here, which will um, either make things aligned, attached, um, or it depends. But um, pretty simple concept. Just click one edge. And click the edge you want it to be like parallel or um, coinciding with. Click and it'll move it so that it fulfills those rules. Okay, so like I, maybe I want to move this. You want it to be on top of there. Okay, so with those two rules in place, um, I can move it any direction so long as it falls within those rules. So we still have one loose now, so it can still move around like that. So now you want to. Um, made that to the other one. So there you have your first um, construction and that they're, they're both completely movable from each other. Now um, I'm not exactly sure what the requirements are for this Lego, what you're supposed to build, anything specific or not, but um, I'll just show you the basic principles and then afterwards they'll be pretty repetitive. So um, I'm going to start a 2x4 now. Um, now we're going to um, do all the basics. Mate that bottom, this top. Uh, check this side to that side. And then this time, I want it to um, be a little bit off like that. So as though you had um, um, clipped that to the edge, you want just a little bit off uh, offset. Like maybe you want a diagonal structure or something. It'll probably be one of the requirements when um, uh, you get the project. So to do that, because you still want it to be precise, I'll make it a little bit off so that you can see it move. Um, you want, oops, uh, you want to make this edge to this edge, and it'll default to that um, coincidedness. But instead, you want to you want it to be a specific distance away from each other. So here, you click this distance button here. And then um, change it to whatever distance you want those two surfaces to be from each other. So I'll say one. Hit enter and it will update. Hit the green check and that mate is um, just as strong as it were as if it were um, coincident. Um, those should be the basic principles for um, um, building Legos. And if you had built um, this second Lego from the first one. You shouldn't have any rotational issues. Um, but if you did have a rotational issue, um, let me show you how to fix that. Or maybe you wanted it this one. Actually, that's a better example. Um, 
if you wanted this one say rotating and like going that direction um you would want it to um I'll show you how to rotate <laughs> so um just under the drop down menu of move component click rotate um click preferably the top surface of this lego you want to go under here under x y z and here you can if you want to rotate a different direction like up down you shouldn't need that you just want to turn it um clockwise or counterclockwise so for that you want to change the z maybe 90 degrees and it'll turn it just like that okay so now um just want to make it again yeah. bottom top side to side okay so there you have you're starting to build um basic structure um, you're going to have to build something a bit more complicated than this, but um, I'm just going to go with this for the sake of time since um, I wouldn't be teaching you anything new if I'd finished it. So now you want to save this again. Um, this will be a different file, so it won't pop up here. You want to title it Lego uh, Assembly. And then um, just close it. Um, you don't need these open. You don't have to have them closed, just minimize them. Now you're going to um, put it into a drawing for annotation. Um, oops, just hit new again, drawing down here. Um, hit OK. Um, don't remember what paper you're using. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's either B or C. Uh, you'll be doing the same thing either way. Just hit OK. Um, now you're going to um, see here, just like before. Um, open documents. So just go to browse, find whatever your assembly name is, hit open, and you'll see this little box here. This is basically um, what your first view is going to look like. So if, uh, first thing you do is you click to put your base view, and you can see uh, it'll be top or side or something. Um, it varies depending on how you built it. And see, you drag out here and you'll see different views. So um, I want maybe a side view and like a front view. Just like that, and then maybe an isometric view, just so you can get a general picture. So um, those three other views should be enough. Check mark. Um, you can move them around afterwards, but they'll still be like somewhat linked. See? Um, to move around, have a bit of space. The isometric view won't be linked to anything. Oops. There you go. You should put it off to the side just for show. Um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna annotate. Um, basically, what you're gonna annotate is anything you would need to recreate this Lego. Like if you're gonna give this to a friend and they need to know the dimensions. Um, so here you go to annotation, um, smart dimension, just like before. I uh, can zoom in a bit. Um, just basic label all the basic key components like length, width, um, the height. You only have to do enough for one Lego. Like you don't have to label each individual Lego, just as long as there's um, enough information for um, to make that Lego. So there's that. Um, you always want to do radius or diameter. Um, let's see here, height, radius. I might want to have to do one um, one for each type of Lego there. Okay, so that should be enough, but um, there's also that inside part. So for this, you want to do a section view, which is a little bit different. Go to view layout. Um, here's section view here. This basically lets you to uh, allows you to cut open a Lego and see what the insides look like. So for here, you're basically um, going to use this line here that's having you create with section view to um, cut through the Lego. You can say this, yes, partial section cut. Shouldn't need any of that, and it'll create a section view. Ha basically, cut halfway through what you are, where you are. Just like that. And from there, you can annotate the um, internal dimensions. Like so. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am putting your name on it. Um, let's see here. Just hit note. 
up here under annotation. Um, click where you want it to be. Type in your name. Oops. Type it in properly. Full name. Um, maybe, maybe your period number. Let's see here. Do another one. Um, whatever. Top time. Period. What, I think you guys are eight. I don't know. It'll be different next for other people. Um, and title. I don't know, if you built something specific like a dinosaur or something, put that there or random thing. It doesn't really matter as long as it has a title. Um, make sure you have your name on there. Um, yeah, and then you're good to go. Um, and then now, then what you do is that you will save it. Oops, save. Um, drawing. Change the name to. Darn it. There. Lego drawing. There you go. And then you want to do a, a secondary save, save as. Now I'm I'm running the student version of SolidWorks at home, so I don't have all the options here. But you'd want to save as a PDF, and basically it'll be um, just this exactly. Um, it'd be like a screenshot, but perfectly aligned. Um, but I can't do that here, so just bear with me. Um, and then from there you want to upload it. Now, um, depending on um, how we're doing it in the coming years, um, you'll upload it different ways. Um, either you can turn in the printed copy, which is just fine, um, but in case you will be uploading it to the website, I'll show you how to do that. So you go to rhsengineering.org slash myast, just like that. Um, capitalization might matter, not entirely sure. Um, login. Um, We'll be set. We'll, we'll help you set up your username and password um, probably before this video, or before you have to um, upload it. So just log in. Uh, pardon my internet. Um, and then, you guys, are mass media can I upload to mass media. I don't know if they enroll. Um, I got, I'm, in, I'm in three right now. So. Um, did all these already, but um, go, basically go to the project name. Um, I already uploaded this, but um, there'll be like an upload button somewhere around here-ish. Um, just hit upload, find your PDF, and you should be fine. All right, thanks.